So what are we doing here, then, John? Oh, hello. I'm John, the Ginger Paintbrush. This is Grandfather Paintbrush. As you all know, I became a father earlier in the year. I've not done a video for a while, but today seems like a really good idea to do a video because it's October. And I managed to find my earliest memory of doing Warhammer outside of finding the spot that we read the story about that before. But a box of orcs from 2005. These are the first models I ever got bought. I'm the father of an early birthday present 18 years ago. As an 11 year old child, I'm now. It's 30 on now, so for this October, October I should say, it'll be good to recreate that moment. Have my dad show me how to use brush cutters and put them all together. We didn't use glue because he said that we can stack together. I have now. absolutely no memory of this at all. It was 18 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I have the clippers from back then. But mum and dad are moving out of the family home, so this is the only opportunity I've got to do this. So we'll be enjoy this. A little bit of a nostalgia for me, a bit of a cool memory. Yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Swap angles and let dad be cameraman or mother. I'm going to clip one of these models out, shove it in a cardboard box, and spray it as in 1991 or 1989 painting guide told us to do so. And we're now on the ground with our models. And if I remember correctly, we chose the dude with the axe because he seemed like he was a cool Or was it this guy? He had, spi he had, sp he had a spiky head. He had spiky old, so I'm just going to clip this bugger out just as I did in this exact same spot 18 years ago or so I cannot remember the date I just knew it was 2005 it was a long time ago oh, that's probably how I did it back then he's probably haven't got any sharper since since then is there a presumption these probably are the clippers that I have basically dad has grabbed the, grabbed the pair out of his toolbox that were roughly the right shape for cutting plastic it's just back in this was 18 years ago. But the premise was it was coming up to my birthday. I'd, I was in my second year of secondary school, so um, year eight. Warhammer Club just started. All I knew about Warhammer, Warhammer from a little spot model that we found. I found in the upstairs bloody hairbrush drawer that you have for My mate Ron, I've told you about. You know, I started doing models with, but I didn't actively start doing it until it was 2005. And we went into town as one father and a son goes. And we went to Woolworth, which is now very much also gone. <laughs> and Dad got a coffee and I got a chocolate nest quick and then we went to Games Workshop. And Dad let me pick out some models and I chose the Orcs just because those are the only models I ever saw outside of the squats. I remember being disappointed I didn't sell squats anymore but I wouldn't have known any better because I was 11 years old. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't remember going into Warhammer. Well that was really the reason but you probably took me loads of time. This is the first time you took me in. This is definitely the first time. So it was the inaugural visit to Games Workshop. Yeah, we bought this little box of models. I, I picked the orcs because I knew them, but also because I got all of my dad's orcs. I trusted the paint, which I've been doing that because I'm not crap anymore. <laughs> here's, a, here's our little dude. Oh, there's a camera, by the way. Here's our little guy. And as is his tradition with the old painting guide. In a cardboard box. That is very far away. Can we zoom in? Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said that last time. <laughs> I'm going to cut because I need to shake this, ca um, shake this can up and probably have somebody hold this camera. What are you doing, Chris? What are you doing? You'll be in the cameraman. So th this spot 18 years ago was the first time I ever put primer on a model. Give or take, a few months. I think it was around my birthday, so it was probably back in the beginning of the summer. Only thing we're not going to do is just press down and hold, just like I did all those years ago. I might still have the original model somewhere, but I don't know. But I, I, I must have got these a year ago. It, oh, seemed, that stinks. it seemed like the perfect time for an October video. Bit of a personal story, as anybody who watches my channel knows, I do a little bit of storytelling. There's, here's a bit of a communal hobby, and I've been doing it a long time because I've just told everyone I've been doing it a full, technically adult amount of time. And this October, as we're in October, at the end of this month, it's been four years since I've been back in the hobby. I'm doing something that was at the beginning of my hobby to see if I nice way to do that. So let's let that dry, get a close up and then finish this beginning of the video up because I'm going to pick him at home because there's my parents shit everywhere because they're moving. <laughs> can I press stop now? You can press stop now. And there we have our little orc friend, badly spray painted but the, the features are still visible. 
I'm going to paint this model at home with all my decent painting lights. But what I will do is paint with the paints I had back then. And these are actually some of the paints I actually bought, well, my dad bought on that day. Specifically, the most important paint being Goblin Green, as my dad went into Games Workshop with me and said, So, if you're going to paint orcs, you're going to need Goblin Green. And this is when they still sold Goblin Green, so thankfully that still made sense to them. <laughs> But I'm going to thank my dad for introducing me to these crazy little models, even though he completely forgot about them for at least 12 years, it will take. Yeah, it's a good paint, this model. I'm going to get it under my lights at home, say goodbye to the child at home, and see you on the other side, guys. <laughs>